see my merchandise? I got a few questions. You heard anything about the Resistance? Yeah, of course. There even? All that tech knows a shit for just one guy. Man, it would suck to be him. and I figure we're gonna need charity for that.
Roy, looks like you're back in the neighborhood. Always a pleasure. Of course. What do you want? Everyone in the city's getting checked right now, and I need papers to get into Tierville. I heard there's a guy who does papers in the North neighborhood, but the place is a real dump. So be careful. There's lots of gangs and they ain't nice. Thanks. I'll see what I can do. Hey, you, sir. Listen, do you think you could help me out? Problem? <laughs> you can say that again, but I think you, you're the guy for the job. From what I've seen, you're not the kind scared of duking it out with scumbags. I'm not planning on making a career out of it. Of course, of course, but it's for a good cause, see? There's this gang of junkies that's set up in my workshop. I can't go there anymore. And if I can't work, well, I can't earn a living. I'll pay you, of course. So I get a bunch of addicts out of your place. Then what? Then I'll give you some serum, of course. And if you ever need a hand, you just let me know. Turn about and all that, right? All right. I'll go see those squatters. Thank you. Thank you so much. I owe you. And actually, I'm the craftsman around here. Roy. Wandering evictor. Later. What can I do for you? Since you've been living here, you must have heard about Charity, I guess. Of course. Great woman. I don't even want to think what things would be like around here without her. I suppose so. It's not what you think. She's got good company, that's for sure, but that's not all she does, you know? Really? It may seem like an old-fashioned idea, but she's a good person. She helps people and has enough influence so things run pretty much smoothly, even though the militia disappeared. It's sure not the source or its soldiers who are gonna do that for us. Hooker or not, it's people like her that we need, not them. Maybe Wisdom and his guard dogs should try selling their bodies to see what it's like. They could do with a change of perspective. I mean, don't go repeating that, of course. You tend to relax a bit when the cat's not around. No problem. I can't even think of how to fit it into a conversation. I gotta admit, I don't really see why you stick around this dump. We moved here nearly 40 years ago, my wife and I. Wasn't the lap of luxury, but we couldn't really afford anything else. And there were things to do around here at the time. She was an artist, you know? I just ran the store. Compared to what she could do with her hands, the Technomancers were nothing. She was a real magician. She's not here anymore. But I can't leave our workshop. We built it together. I'd have liked to know the place was going to survive both of us. If we'd had had a kid, that would have been what we wanted more than anything. Well, almost anything. I see. Later. Don't 
Don't you take me for a fool, Chance. I can see you've been taking it again. You're looking for trouble? Last time wasn't enough? What? Who are you? The name's Roy. I was sent here to get the workshop back to its rightful owner. I knew it. The perfect hangout, huh? Please don't hurt them. They're just kids. They look old enough to stand and walk to the door, unless maybe they want to crawl. But they don't know what they're doing. That drug makes them that way. They have no idea what they're doing. To other people and themselves. Are you suggesting I let a guy who didn't do a thing pay for them? No, of course not. That's not what I meant. But violence will only make things worse. I can hardly get through to my son. Please, they're just kids. Go after the ones who take advantage of them instead. So basically, you want me to take out their dealer? I don't really see how that's any of my business. They're squatting here to hide and because their dealer's nearby. If you cut off their supply, you'll be creating a long-term answer to your problem. And you'll be saving lives. All right, I'll go find the dealer. Just don't make me regret it. Oh, thank you. Believe me, they'll react fast. I'm a nurse, and I know the effects of all these drugs only too well. Their dealer's called Serenity, I think. He has a place in the shanty. I'll show you on your map. All right, I'll go pay him a visit. Stopping everybody. And I would just get my papers stolen. There any way around the checkpoint? Not to where I'm going. There's always a way to get replacement papers, of course. But the guy who does them is kind of hard to find, you know? The authorities are on his ass big time. The war's over, so why check everyone? Well, I guess it's because of politics. I probably shouldn't say this to someone I don't know. But the Technomancers didn't make too many friends when they took out the militia. Now there's a resistance. Guys against the authorities. That's why we got all these checkpoints. That and because it seems there's some guy in town who's on the run. I even heard that the Technomancers hired a bounty hunter to track him down. But, well, you know. Anyway, none of it's good for business. You said something about a guy who does papers. Wouldn't know where he hangs out, would you? I run a bar, so I hear things. But look, I'll tell you if you get ID for me, too. Yeah, okay, I'll get some for you. So, where can I find him? Thanks, buddy. He's hiding out in the north neighborhood, where the gangs run the place. You be careful, it's pretty hot there. Later.
they see technomancers are doing raids downtown. I heard they're looking for some fugitive, but that's all I know. Serenity, I presume? You presume too much. If you don't know who you're dealing with, you got no business here. I know who I'm dealing with. That's why I came to see you, to ask you to stop selling your shit to Chance and his gang. Ask, being a euphemism, if you even know what that means. A feminism, huh? Funny, I don't know what you're talking about. But now I'm the one asking. I'm asking you to leave real fast, or your head will be asking to get kicked in. If you even know what that means. Okay, I see we've got a bit of a misunderstanding going on here. What I can do, if needed, is get the message across by taping it to my foot, and then shoving said foot right up your ass until the info gets permanently printed into your brain. And if it's still not clear to you after that, well, we can try violence. Whoa, hang on a sec, dude. Okay, okay. We got a misunderstanding here, you're right. You show up like that and talk to me about a gang of kids as if they're the only ones who come around to see me. But now I think about it a bit. I think I know who you mean. Chance, yeah. The kids who hang out in the old guy's workshop. I see who you mean now. And you know what? No problem. Not one more hit for them. It's over. The kids are blacklisted. Not like I forced them, though. They came looking for me like everybody else. But next time, don't worry. I'll send them right back to Mom. I suppose his mother sent you, huh? Anyway, don't worry about it, all right? Nothing's gonna happen to her. Better not. If anything does, or if I see those kids strung out again, I know where to find you. Problem? Just questions for now. Hmm. Shoot. You ever have anything to do with the Resistance? What for? I don't give a shit about politics. And they ain't into my line of fine consumer goods. They like their good little fanatics to have a clear head. Especially their boss. Thinking it'd do them some good to do some now and again, though. Bit of tight ass? For someone who never met him, you sure seem to know a lot about him. In my business, you always find out about things. You gotta know what and who you're dealing with. And Marco, I heard it don't make a difference if you're on his side or not. He's just one mean dude. So the best thing to do, when it's like that, is stay out of it. I keep my distance, and I run my company. You never have problems with the cops around here? Ha! The cops! The militia doesn't exist anymore, and the army's got other things to do. This is the slums, dude. Don't sweat it. Nothing's gonna happen to you here. And when a couple of soldiers do come around here, we take care of things. But don't go getting all misty-eyed. They ain't exactly clean, either. When they come see me, they're not after candy. I catch your drift. I'll let you get back to work. Yeah, you do that.
The access looks blocked for the moment. Halt! Stop right there. We're conducting a search.
heard you're the person to see when you lose your ID. Oh, yeah? Maybe you misunderstood. And who are you? Roy. Tranquility sent me. <laughs> that old son of a bitch. He needs me? Apparently. I also figured maybe you could help me too, actually. Did you now? Roy, huh? Well, we're not off to a good start. Roy. I don't know where you're from, but this is Aurora here. You gotta get yourself a nice virtue name if you don't want to get arrested first time they check your papers. Well, I mean, I'm just saying that in case someone did happen to be able to do lost papers for you. Okay, how can I get legit papers? Honestly? No idea. No need to be honest. I was thinking about something more in your league. Fake ID papers, for example? Ha! <laughs> Funny guy. And you don't give up, huh? <sighs> Listen, if you want papers that'll do the trick, you need a forger worthy of the name. And the only one I've heard is under a lot of pressure right now. Maybe I could help you let off some steam. You think so? You can always try. I guess if you do good, he'd probably return the favor. Dressed like an escaped prisoner the way you are, you probably couldn't afford him otherwise anyway. I'm listening. Well, it seems someone ratted on the guy. Now he's got soldiers all over him, turning his workshop upside down. So they might find something. Well, he ain't exactly stupid, you know. He just doesn't leave evidence lying around the house. But now they're on him, they'll never let up. They'll keep his place on the watch until they got something they can get their teeth into. So what do you suggest? Me? Nothing. But as long as those soldiers are sitting in the guy's workshop, the production line's hardly about to start up again. Now, you'd have to get rid of them if you wanted him to help you. But I just might happen to have a few interesting bits and pieces myself. Bunch of evidence. Pretty convincing. If the army found it in some gang's hangout, for example, everyone would be breathing a little easier. That's a good tip. All right, I'll go visit the workshop, and I'll decide once I get there. What's going on around here? Why is the army checking everybody? You think the place was run by the people? What planet you from? Mars never had anything like that, and it's not the day after we win a war by some trick that everything's gonna change. The army's checking everybody's identity, especially on the main roads. If you don't have the right papers, only thing you can do is join the wildlife in the slums. But that's not the way out of the city. Later.
Stop right there. We're conducting a search. If it's your brain you're hoping to find here, forget it. You never had one. didn't use your head. I'm not too sure kicking the shit out of them in the middle of a search is gonna make them think there's nothing suspicious about the place. The workshop's clear, for now. Yeah, yeah. Our guy can get back to work. You gonna keep that up for a while? Do I look like I'm playing games? Okay, if you got no more questions, I'll get back down to work. You know where to find me now. Hey, thanks for helping me out. You and Tranquility know each other? Enough to know he's real smart. But I know how to keep my mouth shut. Not like him. He used to organize fights, but couldn't pay me what I want. Since then, he sends me customers when they seem reliable. He's almost never wrong. I'll give him that. You fight? So I can come up against someone like you? No thanks. I'm happy enough just betting. My fingers and eyes are too valuable. I need them to work with. Tranquility needs new identity papers. Oh, you mean the guy who told the first guy who came walking along where to find me while they were looking for me? That first guy helped you get your workshop back. And I helped him out in return. I don't work for glory, my man. I got operating expenses, and I'm still not safe yet seeing as how you decided to take care of things. So if you want papers for your bartender, buddy, you gotta help out with the war effort a bit. Let's just call it fair trade. All right. Fair trade, right? Exactly. Everybody has papers, and I have my serum. Seems fair to me. So, you got forged papers for me? Forged? What for? Here are your papers, Mr. Resilience. You must have left them here the last time. Uh, what was I thinking? Thanks. Resilience, huh? What? Disappointed? You wanted honor, maybe? That kind of name's just for the elite, my man. And I gotta admit, I never got a look at the papers those people carry. At least your name fits you pretty good. And it's pretty rare, too. Getting a name like that attributed at birth traumatizes you for life. That'll do. It's just a piece of paper, after all. Hey! Show my work a bit of respect, all right? Later.
You got my papers? I can't spend the rest of my life here. I got a business to run. Here you go. Your, uh, well, the papers you asked for. Thanks, buddy. Hey. Hey, what do you want? Later. Papers? Here you go. Um, everything looks okay. You can go. Thank you for taking care of the dealer, and for giving the kids a chance. I hope they're smart enough to take it. You know the craftsman whose workshop your son's set up in? Mr. Frugality? Of course, he was living here before I was even born. He's hardly a master of his trade, but he's a good man. I cared for his wife when I was starting. I'll never forget. What'd she have? She never managed to give birth. I helped the doctor with various treatments. But when it turned out that she was showing symptoms of mutation, the son of a bitch decided that her sterility was a sign that she simply shouldn't have children. He denounced her so she would be put in a reserve with the other mutants. But she preferred to take her own life. Mr. Frugality was the one who found her, hanging in the workshop. A letter for him at her feet. The poor man. I don't know how he can stay there. I think it must be harder for him to leave it. Your son's doing better? Must be tough, quitting cold turkey like that. It is tough, but there are no half measures with these substances. It'll take a good week before he's gone through all the phases. I give him pain relievers, and that way I keep him near me, too, until this is over. And his father? I'd rather not talk about that. I told Chance he was dead, and I hope he is. Hmm, I see. Good luck. I'm going. Thank you. I'd never be back in my workshop if it hadn't been for you. You saved my life, you know? Surely you'll return the favor. I went for a non-violent approach. At least with them. They decided to leave the place on their own. <laughs> yeah, well, they didn't look real happy. They even threatened me. But at least they left. Guess I should think about getting some kind of weapon. I gotta be able to protect myself. Might be a good idea, you know? The scumbags around here may not be hard to impress, but if you don't show a few teeth, you'll sleep outside again and they'll just walk all over you. Ah, you got that right. I'll go equip myself. What's the deal with this place? How'd it become the hangout for all the addicts in Shadowlair? Uh, not all of them, really. But if I told you this part of the city used to be really happy and lively, well, that'd be a happy and lively pile of crap. I've been living here for 40 years now, and it's only ever been a slum. THE slum, like everyone calls it. Even if none of the other parts of town are all that great, either. Anyway, it still found a way to go downhill. People weren't real happy, that's for sure, but they at least didn't go getting all violent like that. They got sold a dream, and they were let down. And, uh, who sold it to them? Oh, lots of folks. Same ones that promised everybody water, a place in the shade, or even just a job to make life easier. You know. The same one who promised them a future if they joined the army and told everybody one day we'll all go back to Earth. And, of course, there's those that try to get you to believe everything will be better as soon as you stick a needle in your arm. But those guys are smart. Half the time, what they say is true. One of them hangs out here, apparently. Don't ask me where, but the slums is turf. And seeing as the army doesn't come around that often, pretty much all the junkies are here.
I thought you couldn't stand those addicts. Eh, sometimes I get carried away, say things I shouldn't. But you got my workshop back for me, and that's all I needed. I got nothing against those kids, to be honest. You can't really say they ever had it easy. Back in the day, we weren't exactly well off, but at least we had hope. I gotta admit, I don't really see why you stick around this dump. We moved here nearly 40 years ago, my wife and I. Wasn't the last... And there were things compared to what she's not here. I'd have liked... I see. Later. <laughs>